Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Dorian here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about making super babies. Uh, something I thought about quite a bit when I was having my first child and stuff, which I only have one. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me that I'm an immoral and ethically challenged individual. That's okay. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, when I was like first when she was first pregnant for my child, uh, I was just like, yeah, we need uh, gray clothes and weird toys to cover the gender spectrum here. Cause like, I'm not trying to be like weird. I don't like exactly believe in gender norms. I'm not like trying to instill like the gay agenda exactly I suppose I don't know how else to say it or like this LGBTQ agenda like uh, but I do believe that it's a relative spectrum still uh, I like girly things I'm a dude so uh, yeah and then plus we didn't know if it was gonna be a boy or a girl obviously so I'm just like yeah let's get like this variety of things and let her explore herself a little bit, you know, but to get into the super baby thing, uh, I was like, yeah, dude, why don't we kind of like put her in front of a screen and use visualization and auditory stimulation to help her learn quicker and all that. And the first thing the mother said was, this isn't the clockwork orange, Dorian. You can't modify behavior this, that, and the other, and I'm like, oh, well, that's, uh, scientifically wrong, but okay, you're right, can't just sit her in front of a screen for eight hours a day, not what I'm trying to do, but, uh, you know, I was like, what, we can't just watch educational stuff or make educational content for her to help her, uh, be better? No, that's wrong. That's wrong, apparently. Um, being, trying to instill intelligence is just not right anymore, apparently. I also had this idea of getting, like, a specialized, like, muscle suit that, like, provided, like, restriction to the muscles in a very minute way, while also in a very minute way stimulating with electricity the different muscles. I was like, yeah, uh, if you kind of like restrict it while she's learning, it's going to make those individuals muscles stronger, faster. And with electrical stimulation, as people may not know, in small doses, we're talking astronomically small doses of electricity, something you wouldn't even notice. It would be less than a tickle probably on your skin. Um, it helps muscle development. Uh, it's arguable whether it breaks down tissues. They say that in not the smallest of doses it can. And that's why they don't do that anymore. It used to be a big thing, I think, in like this 70s and 80s. Not like a big thing, but a, a known thing where people were shocking their muscles. I think people sometimes still do it. But I was like, yeah, let's put her in a suit that restricts her movements and makes her stronger. Not okay, Dorian. Apparently. So here I am just like this fucking asshole apparently who wants their kid to be strong and smart, have brains and bronze. But uh that's wrong. I'm just like sitting here What the fuck, right? <laughs> I also was like trying to because she's Hispanic, I was like or partially Hispanic, I suppose. I was like, yeah, let's uh, speak only in Spanish as much as possible. And then, you know, on some days, only speak Spanish, you know? And she's like, no, 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 that'll confuse the kid, blah, blah, blah. She's not talking yet. And I'm like, huh. They say that uh, you learn multiple languages easier the younger you are. How is this wrong? Um... It's her heritage. What the heck? Whatever. I'm. It's immoral and unethical, apparently. 
<laughs> probably why I don't get to see my kid, right? Now, um, I might probably because I'm nuts or something. I don't know. I don't see what's the major malfunction with all these things. Um, it wouldn't even like necessarily make a super baby. It would. Just, I feel like these things were like thoughts that would just push the boundaries of what was possible for my child. And who doesn't want their child to be the best they can be? You know, like what the heck, you guys? I bet if you could put a microchip in your kid's brain to make them a genius, you'd do it. You would. Like, most people would. And I, however, think that's wrong. Really wrong. Like, you, you shouldn't be jamming chips in people's brains. But, um, to, to stimulate that natural function is, is what's wrong here. Um, this all came about because I was literally watching something where people were sticking chips in kids' brains. And I was like, oh, so this is okay. Well then. Whatever. FDA. For allowing this to happen. Because that's who would, who would oversee that a little bit, I suppose. I don't know why the Food and Drug Administration is the one in charge of that kind of thing. Considering it's a microchip. And in someone's brain. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. You know, they have oversight, apparently. So I just, like... How is this okay, but... Not putting them in front of a TV... And teaching them things... In a bodysuit... Is wrong. I, you know, it sounds really messed up. You know, I really... I, I agree that it sounds a little more messed up when you put it like that. Instead of a, a simple, yeah, let's just put a chip in their brain. But, uh... Realistically... I think it's the right way to do it. That's like just natural, the natural, kind of natural way, you know? Like you kind of just lift some weights and read a fucking book. You get smarter and stronger. But no, let's stick a chip in their fucking brain. Whatever. That's my little rant on that. Uh, I saw the video and I was just like, yeah, let's, let's talk about this. Cause uh, I remember being told I was R ridiculous or something. I don't. I can't remember. It was this. She she had a big old spiel about how I'm just a, a terrible person. So yep. Take it easy, guys.